Hello, good evening. My name is Bimbo and welcome to our channel once again. So if you are just seeing us for the first time, Jackpa With Your Days is a channel where you can get relevant and important information on how you can Jackpa to Portugal, to Austria and other beautiful European countries where we believe that you are going to have a beautiful relocation experience. And today we want to talk about student opportunities to Luxembourg, to University of Luxembourg. Now, uh, the application deadline, the scholarship opportunities that are there, among other opportunities that are there. Now, why Luxembourg uh, or why University of Luxembourg alone? University of Luxembourg is the only public universities that have a very cheap and affordable tuition fee for the common man or for the common uh, Af um, African man or woman. So that is why we'll be talking only about University of Luxembourg. There are many other private universities in Luxembourg, but their school fees is not affordable. So, except of course, if you're uh, if you are not a common man, let me use that word. So, except of course, if you are not a common man, if you are very rich, of course, there are other private universities or other universities in Luxembourg that you can always apply to and get the admission. So, but today we will only be talking about University of Luxembourg because they are the only public university in Luxembourg that have a very cheap and affordable tuition fee for Africans or international students. Now, so why Luxembourg? Uh, Luxembourg is, a, is the second richest country in the world in terms of GDP. It's a very small country. It's a multilingual environment. They speak Dutch, French, and Dutch in that environment. And I mean, healthcare is free. If you live in Luxembourg uh, legally for five years, you are eligible to apply for a citizen. I mean, to apply to become a citizen. And with their passport, you have access to about 193 to 195 countries without visa. So healthcare is free and public uh, transportation, buses, train are free for all their residents. So uh, that is why we want to talk about other opportunities for students to be able to go to University of Luxembourg. So if you are if you are just joining us, please like and subscribe to our channel so that by the time we bring opportunities and information like this your way, you will be the first person to get notification. Also share our uh, channel our videos to other members of your family or on your group where or where you believe that uh, uh, the information will be very relevant to them. So come with me. Let me show you the um, uh, application deadline, the scholarship opportunities that are available at the University of Luxembourg, and other procedure that you can you know the document that you can uh, that you are required to have to be able to apply to University of Luxembourg. So this is the University of Luxembourg website, and uh, this uh, is for bachelor and for master program. And then this is the application timeline, which means the application has already started from the 1st of February. And uh, from, you know, from what I've seen, it's going to last up until the 30th or 31st of April. So this is the procedure to be able to apply for uh, First, you choose your study program. I mean, we will get there. That is for, for bachelor and for master program. Once you click on this, it will take you to the study program that you want to uh, apply. Um, then you check your eligibility. You, uh, I mean, from what I've seen, all international applicants are eligible. So it also now depends on the program that you want to apply for. But of course, just to just put this there for you to be able to check depending on the country that you're coming from so it's also advised that uh, you, you can also check to uh, ensure that you are eligible to apply so then of course you prepare your document so for a non-eu student that is for international applicant so uh, this is uh, the general document that the you need to be able to uh, prepare for bachelor applications for master applications these are all the documents that you need to uh, have available to be able to apply for your choosing program at the University of Luxembourg for bachelor program and for master's application. And then supporting documents like uh, your curriculum, IT, reference letter, a motivations, uh, letter of motivation, a letter of recommendations, you know, and then, you know, to the freeze, those are supporting documents that uh, they might request that you submit. So you can also attach it as a supporting document to your applications to also give your application more credence. Of course, this is a, you create an account, 
you create an account with the on the on the school website then of course with your email your password and of course you'll be able to choose your program that you want to study and you'll be able to uh you know submit all the required applications then complete your applications and pay the application fee now the beauty of this application fee of 50 euro is that uh, when you are admitted okay see what it says here you can pay the application the application fee will be deducted from their from their first semester tuition fee, which means the 50 euro application fee that you pay once you are admitted and you have enrolled, it will be deducted from the school fee. So if your school fees is 200 euro per semester or per, you know, uh, per month or per session, whatever it is, the 50 euro application fee that you have paid will be deducted. So which means you only have uh, 150 euro as an example. You only have 150 euro school fees to pay so that is the beauty of their own application fee payment so uh, and then if you want to then you can upload the required documents for your choosing study program make any changes that you want to do prior to the deadline so at, as long as you have not submitted your applications you have an opportunity to make any changes prior to the deadline of the application so then of course you can now submit your applications. Once you have um, uploaded all the required documents, you have done all the uh, necessary uh, thing that you want to do based on the program that you have applied for, you can you can submit your application. And let me quickly mention, let me quickly say this. Um, from what it says here, you can apply for up to three programs. You can apply for, so if you're a master student, you can apply for up to three master's program at the University of Luxembourg. For bachelor program, you can apply for up to three bachelor program the university of luxembourg so <clears throat> let's go to your applications of course once you submit your applications it will put, it will be processed and then within uh three weeks or one month or thereabouts they will contact you and let you know your fate if you have been ad admitted for any of the uh program that you have applied for they will let you know so that you can prepare the necessary documents to apply for residence permit to apply for um, um a visa to come in into the country so that is that about the application procedure the application timeline at the university of luxembourg now let's look at the study programs at the study program and the various uh courses that are taught both for bachelor and for master's program at the university of luxembourg especially taught in english don't forget like i said that at uh, in luxembourg they speak dutch french and english those are the three languages that they speak however at the university of luxembourg they have quite a number of courses taught in english both for masters and for bsc so let's quickly look at um, uh, uh, some of them for instance um, if you from what you're seeing here you will see that it's already written in french so if you click on it if you click on it for example you will see that it's taught in french it's taught in French, Dutch, and English. This program is the, uh, that is the uh, uh, BSc in Medicine. It's taught in French and English. That's why it's already written in that. So, but, but the one that is written in in English, you will see when we click on it for Bachelor of in Computer Science, you will see that it's only taught in English. That is why it is written in, in it is written in uh, uh, in English. So, and for non EU applicant. The application starts from February 1st, and it's going to last up until the 30th of April, 30th of April. And the school fees for uh, each semester, you pay um, uh, 400 euro for first, uh, for first semester, second semester, you pay 400 euro for third semester, fourth semester, fifth semester, and sixth semester, you pay 200 euro for BSc in computer or BSc in computer science. So, and then they have also BSc in applied information technology. It's the, it's the same procedure. This is taught in English and in French. The same procedure apply for non-EU applicant and the school fees for first semester and second semester is 400 euro. Third semester, fourth, fifth, and sixth is 200 euro. That's for BSc application of course depending on the uh, bachelor in civil engineering is taught in english electrical engineering is taught in english engineering and digital engineering sorry bsc in engineering digital engineering is taught in english 
BSc in uh, Engineering, Energy and Environment, European Construction Management, Mechanical Engineering, is taught in English, BSc in Physics, BSc in Mathematics. They are all taught in English. That is for BSc. That is for uh, the uh, Faculty of Science, Technology, and Medicine. Now, for Faculty of Law, Economics, and Finance, uh, the only program <clears throat> that is taught in strictly in English is BSc in Business Administration. So you see it is taught in both French and in English. French and in English. So and um, so that is for Faculty of Law, Economics, the Faculty of Humanities, Education and Social Science. They, they also have some courses taught in English. <clears throat> We also have some courses taught in English. So they have BSc in animation, BSc in psychology. Those are the courses taught in English for the faculty of uh, humanities, education, and social science. And uh, there are some other courses written here in French that they are, have supporting language taught in English. But of course, you have to research that to be able to know uh, the program that you want. That is for BSc. Applicant. Now, for master degree applicant for the Faculty of Science, Technology, and Medicine, <clears throat> they have um, Erasmus Mundo Joint Masters in Cybersecurity, Masters in Space Technology and Business. They have Masters in High Performance Computing, Masters in Data Science, International Masters of Science in Biomedicine. Those are taught in English, Masters in Information Security System, Masters in Integrated System Biology, Information and Computer, Masters in Mathematics, Specialization in Financial Mathematics, General Mathematics, you know, taught all of these are taught in English, Masters in Technopreneurship, Masters in um, Sustainable Product Creation, Masters in Fixes. They are all taught in English for the Faculty of Science, Technology, and Medicine, Masters in Faculty of Law, Economics, and Finance. They have Masters in Accounting and Audit, Masters in European Law, uh, Masters in European Law, Masters in Space, Communication, and Me Media Law, Masters in European Business Law, Masters in European Economics and Financial Criminal Law, Masters in Entrepreneurship and Innovation, Masters in Logistics and Supply Chain, Masters in Logistics and Supply Chain Management, Digital Procurement, Masters in Finance and Economics, Banking, Masters in Finance and Economics, Masters in Wealth Management. All of these are taught in English. You can research them yourself. You know, I just wanted to list a, a bunch of them out for each faculty. Faculty of Humanities, Education and Social Science. They have um, Masters in Digital and Public History. So they have a bunch of courses taught in English at the University of Luxembourg for international Applicant Masters in Architecture is taught in English, Ma Masters in European Governance, Masters in Geography, Special Planning, Masters in Psychotherapy, Social Science and Educational Science, all of these are taught in English. So that is that for the courses taught in English for different faculties. Now let's look at the scholarship opportunity, the cost of living, uh, the cost of living scholarship opportunities that are available there. Now, so uh, the cost of living, uh, they estimate that uh, uh, each student should budget, uh, should have a budget of 1,805, cover rent, covering rent, school fees, feeding, you know, transportations, among other things at the uh, university. And this is what it entails. This is the breakdown of each budget that has been written here, registration at the University of Luxembourg, housing in university dormitory, rent guaranteed. That is if you want to live it at the university dormitory or hostel, uh, rent guaranteed deposit or insurance, rent insurance, meal, five euro per meal. So in a month, you know, 360 euro telephone. That is if you want to have um, a, a, an internet subscriptions where you can make call, you know, browse the internet anywhere you are, 40 euro, that's the budget free time activities, cinema, student outings, you know, that is the breakdown of what you are expected to uh, use your money for. So that's why they said per month, you should budget up to 1,805 euro at the, uh, for living expenses and then for, for the cost of living at the university, of, especially if you want to stay at the university hostel. So, but it might be cheaper if you rent your, um, 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 you know, if you if you get an accommodation outside now, the scholarship opportunity. This is really very interesting. Now they have quite a number of them. I'm just going to you know touch them briefly.
for instance, this scholarship is for masters and it covers up to two years duration, uh, up to 30 students per faculty, uh, and 10, uh, up to 30 students and 10 people per faculty, can, uh, sorry, uh, 30 students can, uh, will be eligible or will be given this scholarship and they will, they will be selecting 10 people per faculty for this scholarship. And this is what this scholarship uh, covers. <clears throat> the stipends amount to up to 10,000 euro per academic year. So which means if your program is two years, up to 10,000 euro will be given to you uh, monthly, you know, they'll be, you know, disbursed to you monthly uh, for your living expense, to cover your living expenses, among other things. And then it's also, and this scholarship does not cover tuition fee. That is what it is written here. Tuition fees are not included in the scholarship. So it is called, you know, I'm not, I will not be able to pronounce the name, but this is the name here, International Master Scholarship. It covers all programs at the master's level. And, you know, depending on your faculty, you can apply for this scholarship to be able to be getting stipend for up to 10,000 euro. And uh, that is that, and then they have this one as well. Uh, it, this is for both uh, BSc and master's program can apply. And the duration of the scholarship is 1,000, sorry, one year. And the amount of the scholarship is uh, up to 30,000 euro per year divided among uh, six candidates. So which means six candidates are uh, can apply and or will be choosing for this scholarship and then this amount of money will be divided among six candidates. So they have quite a number of them. And this is another one that this is at the university level. Okay, this is the, then this is at the faculty level. They have uh, faculty of law, economics and finance. They have a bunch of them, Advancia Bank Scholarship, Allen and over. So they have a bunch of them that you can apply for. So you have no excuse, even if uh, 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 even if you don't have, if you don't want to be a self-funding student, you have no, uh, 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 you have no uh, excuse whatsoever not to uh, get funding at the University of Luxembourg. So, and there is something, there is something called hardship assistance. So, say for instance, if you have been, you know, financing yourself at some point, if you find it difficult to continue to finance yourself, you can apply for what is called hardship assistance. Of course, they have criteria for people that can apply for hardship assistance. It, it, it's not for everybody. You are master, a bachelor's and master program can apply. You must be a self-funded doctoral student at the University of Luxembourg. You must be registered as a self-funded doctoral student to be eligible or, or uh, um, and, and of course, uh, master at the university, you can also, you are also eligible for, or if you are a BSc or a master degree program, and if you are a self-funded doctoral student at the University of Luxembourg, you are also eligible, and you must be registered at the third semester of your study program before you can uh, be eligible to apply for uh, this program, uh, sorry, for um, hardship assistance. It's called, it's called Student Hardship Fund, or hardship assistance offer. So they, they have a, a bunch of them to be able to take care of all their registered students at the University of Luxembourg. So you can check uh, further documentations, further opportunity to apply. If you want to know the necessary document that you need to submit, you can send an email to hardshipfund at uni.lu. LU means University of Luxembourg. So for Luz, LU means uh, Luxembourg. So you can send an email you can send an email to further get more information regarding the hardship assistance funds that's available to both BSc, MSc, and the PhD student at the or self-funded PhD student at the University of Luxembourg. And this is the doctoral candidate for the PhD opportunity at the University of Luxembourg. They have quite a number of open positions at the faculty at different faculty level. But if you want to apply as a self-funded, if you want to apply as a self-funded or self-financed PhD candidate, you can check, you have to also check with a supervisor. You have to, of course, write a proposal, send it to uh, the university lecturer. And of course, if you are able to get a supervisor interested in your uh, area of study, then you can apply for admissions. But if you want to, uh, compete or check their open positions, you can uh, click on their open position and see which area of their research interest fits 
or align with your skills and then you can write a proposal, submit it and, you know, uh, uh, attend the interview. And if you are qualified, you are you you will be employed at the university as uh, a PhD student that is financed, stipend, school fees and everything is paid for. So that is an academic enrollment process. So uh, enrollment fee is, uh, if you are if you are admitted, enrollment fee per semester is 200 euro. So that is uh, for the University of Luxembourg PhD opportunity. And this is the different schools, uh, doctoral schools at the university or doctoral school in science and engineering, doctoral schools in law, doctoral schools in humanities and social science, doctoral schools in economics, finance, and management, and that is for PhD opportunities. So at the University of Luxembourg, we've talked about the application deadline, courses taught in English, documents needed, document that you need to apply both for, for, uh, both for BSc and Masters. And we've talked about the scholarship opportunity, different scholarship and stipend opportunities that are available at the University of Luxembourg. So if you have made it this far, like and subscribe to our channel so that by the time we bring opportunities like this, you will be the first to get notifications. Also follow us on all our social media platforms. Thank you very, very much for uh, watching and, uh, uh, and staying tuned to this uh, channel. Bye-bye for now.